Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video. And today is another travel journal video. I think it's one of my favorite kinds of videos to film and to watch. Uh, so today I will be finishing my travel journal about a weekend Halloween trip to Gothenburg in Sweden, uh, southern Sweden, uh, or uh, Göteborg, how Swedes pronounce it. It was a four days trip for Halloween. There was a really cool concert on Halloween and we also spent a few days in the city and I've never been there before so it was really interesting and I started journaling during the trip and already, and already finished a few pages and in today's video I will be finishing all the rest. Probably it will be too long as always so it could be that I will would have to split this video in two parts. First I want to show you a few things that I got there uh, during this trip. I went to a few cool shops, bought a few nice things. So first I want to show you what, what I got during my trip. Some uh, new stationery, new nice things. Uh, these are the photos from my trip that I already printed for, for my journal. So I will put this aside and first we'll show you a few few things that I bought during the trip. I think some of this you already saw in the beginning of the video, in the vlog part. Uh, I filmed, filmed a few short clips uh, during the trip that you also have an idea how the city looks. And yeah, now I will show you a few things that I bought. So first this uh, pack of beautiful Japanese papers. It's really, really big. I actually don't know how many pieces are here, but I think it's like 100 maybe, or I don't know, or 50, at least 50, but feels like it's more and uh, all the papers are really nice. Some, most of them uh, come at least a few times, like three, four, five papers with the same design. And there are uh, many different beautiful designs and I actually already used a few pieces of this paper um, and these papers are from a cute little stationery shop called Room for Paper. Really nice small shop. There also were some uh, travelers company things and good selection of uh, Japanese stationery and um, also some local Swedish brands, I guess, many fun things. So I got uh, this uh, cute Japanese papers. Yeah, as you can see, there are really, really many different designs and I like all of them. I like the bright colors. They're really, really beautiful, colorful. I think this will be really great for spring, summer journals, but not only because there are also quite many other designs and all of them or I think all of them or most of them I think even all of them are kind of foiled so it was with golden foiling and it looks really nice uh, then I think my favorite shop of all that uh, there was a fantasy bookstore huge fantasy bookshop fantasy and science science fiction books and i got a few books there i don't have them now next to me to show you but but i will later journal about the shop so you will see also the books that i bought like at least the uh, photos but i also got a few postcards um these are like christmas series of the postcards and this shop it's a um, a small chain. Um, there are three shops in Sweden. Uh, one is in Stockholm. I've been there quite a few times. So this postcard, that's Stockholm Dragon. This one is Malmö Dragon. There is also a shop in Malmö. I've also been there already uh, a few times. And Malmö is the closest town to where I live. So I go there quite often, so this is Malmö dragon, like a Christmas dragon. And this one is uh, Gothenburg dragon. 
this one was new for me, so it's like a series of Christmas dragons, like really, really cute, and also a few more. Another dragon, and another dragon, and as you can see, I'm a big fan of dragons, and this cute house, <laughs> really cute. They have there really many cool uh, fantasy postcards. So I just couldn't go by and got a few. Then I went to a tourist uh, tourist information office and got there this free guides and uh, maps. And this is like a guide book about the city and they already started to use it. And there are also some maps in here and some nice photos. And that's something that I'm going to use today as well and this really big map of, of the city and also area around there are many small islands around there and sometime I also definitely want to go there that area is really beautiful so I also got this big map and I know that I'm not going to use everything today for finishing this journal so uh, all the that will be left I'm going to keep for, for the next time because I'm pretty sure that it was not the last time uh, when I'm there. I really liked the city and there are also very cool concerts rather often so I think we will go there again. And I also got this two beautiful moose postcards also in that uh, tourist information office. I just couldn't go by them and bought these two postcards. I really love moose and I love how these illustrations look and the postcards are actually quite big. It's not the standard A6 size, um, but they're quite big. So I think these postcards I'm also going to use as a decoration. I'm going to put them on the wall, maybe in my crafting room or somewhere else. I don't know yet, but I really love the illustrations. The moose are absolutely beautiful and these are a few things from a very small cute antique shop that i found accidentally i wasn't planning to go there uh, we just stumbled over it accidentally and um, i went there actually even two times and uh, first i got this few of these uh, bread cards these are from 1917 uh, these are like bread coupons, coupons for getting bread, valid only for some time. So this is the dates from uh, when to when these are valid. And I think these are uh, really cool for journaling. They're a bit like tickets and you can use bigger or smaller pieces of it. And on this one I already cut a few pieces and used in my travel journal. So going to use this mostly for uh, junk journaling on uh, but yeah I think these are really cool so I think I first I got like four of them uh, on the first day and I saw this album and I went through this album when I was there for the first time I wasn't sure if I'm going to take it or not uh, but then on the next day I decided that I need this and I went there again and also got a few more of this and also this beautiful photo album uh, this one is from uh, 40s like around 40s like 30 1939 1940 41 something like this and uh, there are many many nice photos uh, inside this album i think it's kind of like a family album there are also many photos from um, different trips that this family took. I think I will move this a bit and put it here that you can see all the pages. Yeah, so there are also some photos from the trips uh, of this family. And like, for example, this one from photos from Uppsala. I've been to Uppsala and actually this looks more like a, even like a postcard. I don't know if it's a photo or postcard, but yeah, uh, I've been to this uh, city and there are a few more places that I recognize. So there are also photos like this, like just some 
uh, travel photos and some fun family photos and also something that I like, like yeah, here it's 1942. Something that I like that there are also many cute small drawings like this, like this, I think this bunny is my favorite, I think it's really super cute. There are quite a few things like this, like here for example, this forest. So definitely the person person who created this album also was very creative and I think this is like uh, cut out probably from some uh, magazine. It looks like a cut out from magazine or newspaper and then uh, someone just went around it with, with pen, kind of outlined it with, with a pen. I think it's really super cute. This one is also funny. Someone's wedding and yeah, quite many, quite many uh, interesting photos. And also someone was collecting tickets, like a museum ticket. I think that's kind of like parking ticket or so, or camping ticket. It looks like some camping place. Unfortunately, not all of these uh, photos are uh, signed, like not all pages are signed, like where is it or what is it? But some, some yes, and some also in good tickets and stuff, like another, here is another ticket. Also some map cut out, so it's like scrapbook album. I think it's really cool and really nice to see something like that from Swedish family. And then later I noticed that there is also this um, little pocket uh, in the end. I even didn't see it first and there are even more photos and also more tickets. So this one is from Stockholm from museum. So even more photos here. I didn't see this first, but then I also uh, found even more things. And this is, I think, uh, I received where, uh, where, from where these photos were developed. So here is the amount of photos and everything and this is the price like 330 crowns and it's now for now it's like super cheap it's like 30 cents or something like that or even less than 30 cents but i actually have no idea if it was cheap for for that time or not cute little envelope and more tickets and more more photos And I found here my absolutely favorite photo, I think, in all the album. Look at this. Look at this bear. It's so, so cute. Such a cute photo. Probably it's from the zoo. I think it's really super cute. And I wasn't sure if I should tell, take this album because I wasn't sure what I am going to do with it. But I was thinking about it for a while and I have at least three ideas what I can do with this album. And it's definitely something for the next year. I'm not going to use it anytime soon, but maybe for the next year. And I have at least three ideas, so I decided that I'm... I will take it and I think it's really, really beautiful and, and actually it wasn't really expensive. It was uh, 170 Swedish crowns and it's like, I guess around $20 for this album. So yeah, so maybe next year you will see this album on the channel or on my Instagram. Now I will show you what, uh, what I already made still during my trip and will continue with this journal. I had this with me and also this was inside this uh, clear folder, uh, folder with, with this clear pockets that I already showed quite a few times. I always take this with me, it's really convenient for keeping your ephemera, uh, but I took it out because it's better 
to have it opened uh, laying next to me. This is what I already made during my trip. So basically I finished journaling about first day that was uh, Saturday, October 29th. And yeah, I finished everything about this day, put some postcard inside that I got on the day and also in this pocket I have a business card from the hotel where we stayed and also printed some photos. This, uh, this two I printed with my pocket printer and this already at home and added them at home. And I also started already to decorate next few days, so this already 30th of October, next day. Also started to add some things. This, uh, this is a, another business card and this one is from, from that antique shop where I bought the album and those bread coupons. And also I bought a few um, stickers in one of the stationery shops and I already used them, like this one was a tram. Uh, this page is from, from one of those free guides, booklets, and I'm still going to decorate this a bit more. That's also another sticker that I bought there. And yeah, another one. And also already started a bit uh, the next day, 31st of October, that's Halloween day, so it's a bit like in the Halloween, Halloween-ish collage or so. So another map of the city from, from one of the booklets. Um, yeah, this page is not very pretty and it's upside down because I wanted to have this map facing this way. I don't know why, but but I'm going to cover this and yeah that's basically all what I made during my trip so now I will continue with the day 2 30th of October and first of all I will sort all the photos and take the photos from from this day these are the photos from 30th of October Sunday I think these two are already from Monday, so I will cut them out. That's already the next day. That's the shop where I got this uh, Japanese papers. Quite a few photos, as you can see, I love to include many photos and print them in different sizes, mostly this size but sometimes I also like to include bigger photos and there were some moose in the park so of course I had to print moose photos so I'm going to include all this and I also have some stickers in this pocket that I'm going to use uh, stickers and some tapes cutouts and here on this side I have different uh, papers like note papers and stuff like that and also a bunch of tickets here so that's also something that i'm going to use and as always when i have to journal about a few days and make many pages. I first will add the, the main things that I would like to include. That's mostly photos and uh, other ephemera that I collected, like if there are any tickets or any other papers that I collected and want to include uh, to the date uh, and small decorations around it and then later I will be going back to all the pages and we'll see if I still want to add some small details usually then I add more small stickers and maybe some tapes and stuff like that but uh, first of all I like to add all the important stuff let's say or the main stuff uh, photos and uh, other ephemera and then I'm going to see what else I can add. So I will be moving now to 
another page and we'll see what I can add here. I have this bunch of photos to add to this day. Uh, so uh, first of all, I will be arranging all the photos. And there is this very cool tram sticker with an old tram. So maybe I will add here also my photo of the tram. It's not the same tram, but anyway. I also would like to add something here to this page, this cut out from the booklet with a city view and map, like some kind of collage, and maybe also include here few photos that I made. I think I will also cut out a few things, a few more things from, from this booklet. I really like this poster. Uh, next year, uh, next year Gothenburg celebrates 400 years. And I saw also uh, postcards like this different stuff related to that so they are already preparing for for the celebration and i really like this this poster so i will cut it out and also will use it somewhere So I think on this page here I will make a big collage with all the remaining photos and I also will include another map from the, uh, from the booklet. It will be a nice background for, for collage and will give me more space for adding photos because I still have quite a few left and I think with this I will finish the second day okay something like this and it's a bit big so i think in case with this one i won't fold it like i did uh, with the previous one but i just will tear this part away and also will use it as a background here so it will be just a little bit smaller, like this. And this page, I'm also this side I'm going to cover mostly. Uh, this is the cafe where we ate a really huge cinnamon bun, cinnamon roll. I think like the biggest in Sweden and it's, it's very pop popular in Gothenburg and comes from there. And of course I had to try it because I really love cinnamon rolls, cinnamon buns, everything cinnamon. And it's really huge, it's more like a very very big pie and it was very tasty. I think this is the only photo of us together from this trip. Not the best one, but yeah, recently we were not very much in the mood for taking photos. So that's what we have. And this is a small uh, cut out from the booklet about this cafe and I think I will leave this here as a small journaling space.
and this is uh, short information about another place that we visited really nice uh, park and uh, viewpoint with an old fortress and also some information about this part of the city uh, also where the cafe is and it's it's really nice part of the city it's kind of artistic part there are many museums art galleries in general it's really nice also that antique uh, shop is in this part of the city and there is a nice park and um, fortress with a beautiful city view i already have a few photos of of this here and this this is the view from that fortress and also these photos with cute cat <laughs> it's also from there that's the cat that we met there Okay, and on this side here, I want to add all the rest of the photos, all these moose photos, and also I have this cut out about uh, uh, the park itself. That's already another park in the city, and yeah, actually, it's still quite a few photos. I don't know if I will include all of them or let's see i definitely want to have all the moose photos and this moose sticker i think i printed maybe a bit too many moose photos there can't be too many moose photos but i don't know if i'm going to fit them all here or not let's see they are so adorable and I really love moose so I printed like maybe a bit a little bit too many maybe actually I will keep this big one and just put it somewhere on the wall or something like this I really love to take photos when I'm traveling and also to print them and have in my journals not only on the mobile or computer but also in my journals earlier i also was always making photo albums now not that often anymore but i but that's why i print many photos and include them in my journals I still have this two photos left from this day, so I think I will go back and we'll see if I can add them somewhere else. I have here this journaling spot, so I think I just will add them here on the back. No, I think I will add actually one for the moment and this one I will keep and maybe will use it in my other journal. And then maybe also some small decorations around it later. So I think that's all what I want to do for this day. And now I will journal about this day and maybe we'll add a few more tiny details here and there. And I will see if I still want to add these two remaining photos or just will use them somewhere else later. And then I will show you the final result and I can move on to the next day. But I think it will be already another video, part two, because it's already way too long as always. I really love travel journal videos, so I hope you don't mind. So I finished journaling about second day of this trip and also added a few small details, mostly some small stickers here and there, like these cute small stickers here. And yeah, second day is ready.
this page is just a big collage of photos and some cutouts and stickers and and I really like how this turned out. It's kind of busy and full, but I love full and busy pages. I don't like to leave blank space, probably. You already have noticed that. Uh, so yeah, I like how uh, how this looks. I also really like this uh, map. This is the part of the city uh, where these places are located. And this is uh, about uh, moose that we met in this beautiful park and also added a few squirrel stickers and this cute uh, hedgehog. It's like a, a felt sticker and this part is uh, very soft so you can actually give belly rubs to this cute hedgehog. It's really so nice to touch it. And I think that's it for, for today's video and in the next video then I will finish the rest the uh, uh, last two days and then we'll show you the flip through of all the pages and i also have a little something for you uh, this week when you are watching this video it's a birthday week for my small etsy shop uh, last year on 11th of november i opened my shop and i decided that i want to celebrate this small but important for me anniversary uh, for a week and since monday basically there are different things uh, related to that uh, some sales in my shop and discounts and stuff like that and also some uh, giveaways on Instagram and also today on YouTube. So um, I prepared a small happy mail for you with uh, some of the stickers from my shop. For example, this will be good for uh, travel journal and also some nature stickers and Christmas stickers and kind of spring summer stickers with beautiful ladies and more flower stickers and also postcards that i have in my shop this cute cat postcards nature postcards and also with uh, this beautiful ladies and also this uh, little bag with uh, different papers some nice paper bits and pieces so if you would like to get this happy mail from me, all you have to do is to be subscribed to my channel, like this video and write in the comments that you want to take part in this giveaway. And then next week on Wednesday, I will post uh, results and I will choose someone to whom I will send this uh, happy mail and that's international. So yeah, you can take part, doesn't matter where you are. And I also will leave all the details about the giveaway in the description box and also a link to my new uh, newsletter. If you haven't seen the previous video, I've launched my newsletter, so you can also subscribe to it. Also, link is in the description box. So I hope you liked this video and that you will join me for the next one to finish my uh, pages about the strip. Thank you so much for watching as always and see you in my next videos. Bye!